Okay, what is up my beautiful, beautiful friends? Welcome back to another fantastic video. <laughs> and I'm getting messages already, which is uh, kind of throwing me off. Anyway, as I was saying, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I know I haven't done many many tank reviews lately uh, but basically I've been so super busy setting up a new YouTube channel and a whole bunch of other things more info on that later but today I know I didn't do a review of the Cobra King and so today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Cobra King of course the Cobra King was a mid it is an actual tank that did exist and basically it was the first excuse me it was the first showman into Bastogne and when you buy this tank, excuse me, with gold, of course, you also get the decal first in Bastogne. It is currently a rank three tank with a battle ranking of 5.3, which means you will see KV-1Ss, you will see KV-85s, you will even see KV-2s, uh, which means it will hurt, especially on the Soviet side. On the German side, you might see, if you get really poor, really, really, really bad matchmaking, you might even see a Tiger 1. Um, now the gun on this thing is piss poor at best, at best with performance. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the armor profile. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take a look at, that's the customization side, duh, my bad. Oh wait, it's been so long since I've done this and anyway, here we go. So we're gonna show the armor here real quick. And frankly, as you can see, it's got one troll, one hell of a trollish mantlet. So if you can go hold down, best thing for you ever. And most importantly, <laughs> anyway, most notably, also the transmission cover. Um, that is a, a, a fundamental, well-known weak spot for most Shermans of the early design was the transmission cover because this is the uh, drive wheel here that's the return wheel and so I believe if you see the x-rays as you can see there's the transmission um, of course with this being the front drive wheel and that's the return wheel now I've noticed lately that it, it's even got some actually pretty beefy side armor uh, it, it's the, the Cobra King side armor is about as thick as the front armor was on the original Sherman. So that should tell you something. But most importantly, look at that trollish gun mantlet. Holy cow. That is one thick mantlet all around. That is absolutely insane. And so, well, what can we say? Now, bear in mind, the tank's performance is limited by what you can do with your uh, crew, of course. And the crew in question on this tank is uh, 35.8 on a crew level. So, you know, they're not the best. Uh, I mean, some, some of my crew up there are really out there. I mean, I've barely just got the, the expert. I don't even have the ace crew yet. So let's go take this sucker for a test drive. Now, bear in mind, this will be a very limited test drive I should say and of course we're going to be taking the standard ammunition uh, let's see we've got grape shot we're gonna take a small amount of HE and we're gonna use arcade so let's give this a shot shall we okay guys and we're back now as we can do I'm gonna do a typical turret rotation which is a full 360 I'm gonna go from the right and then from the left and we're gonna to count it down and well, let's go. Ready? 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000. Exactly 8 seconds on the nose turning from the right. Let's see if it does from the left. Ready? 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 
Eight one. Exactly. Eight on the nose. The exact same as the Tiger. I think they've got a generic all-round profile for tanks in arcade battles. Now, as you can see, she does come with a whole slew of different ammos. And let's always hit that one. Most importantly, I've got to give props to this tank. It's incredibly bloody fast. And, well, shooting on the move, it's not the best, but as you can see, it really isn't the best. HE, of course, doesn't really do that much. Slow the armor piercing. Three, two, one. To the moon, Lois. To the moon. Most importantly, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some of the shortcomings of the tank but most no notably look at how fast this thing gets going in arcade it's pretty goddamn fast out the gate um, which amazes me because uh, most premium tanks and again this is coming from a world of tank yeah exactly don't try and shoot on the move even though that's what the Shermans were designed for was to shoot on the bloody move that's why they had a gyroscopic stabilizer of course, that one actually bounced off a of Panzer 4C, which has got to be a, you've got to be kidding me. There we go. There's the money shot right there. Oh, yeah. So, let's take a look at a Panther D. No matter what, you're not going to pen a Panther D from the front, regardless of what ammo you type she, you, you use. You really ain't. Um, that's the downfall of this tank, and you will come across Panther Ds quite a lot. During my last live stream, uh, I came across a whole, a whole slew of Panther Ds, and I just could not penetrate these suckers from the front with this gun. And, well, as you can see, red all around, baby. Red, 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 red. And that's with its one of its standard ammos. So, we're going to load up our armor-piercing composite rigid. And still, it's red city all around, my friend. Except for right there. Right underneath the gun mantlet. So if you can, that's where you want to aim. That's the sweet spot. Ah, uh, see right there. It's the money shot. It's not a guaranteed pen, as you see, guys. But another thing you can always pen with is cheat shots. But even then, you still can't. And I'm damn near, you know, what would be considered a uh, 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 combat effective range for most armor. Do you see? And I'm not even getting through any anywhere. By now, this panther would have just chewed me up. See? Literally. By now, the panther would have chewed me up. Which is why one of the things that I love about this sort of Sherman is this tactic. Ready? You wanna do a little flank and spank with this sucker. Woo! Turn around. Look how fast that turret go. Ah, uh, you're on fire now. And again, of course, you know, normally in a real world battle scenario, honestly, that Panther would have had my ticket. So, will it penetrate a Tiger 2? Absolutely not. If you can't penetrate a Panther, there is in no way hell of high water that you are actually going to penetrate a Tiger 2 from the front. Sides, yeah. Hell, from the sides, 50 cows can do damage. See? Again, this is what this tank was meant to do. A little flank and spank, as they say. Sort of now. Right in there. There's the money shot, right there. Back of the turret. You didn't want that tank. You fucking what, governor? See, good tank, and, and bear in mind, I'm not even using my more high performance ammo, I'm just using the regular ammo. Now I'm going to switch back to the APCR, and as you can see, we're green across the board on the sides. Frankly, if you want to take out a tiger. Arr, I was off by an inch. Right there. There's the money shot. And so... 
there we have it guys that's the test drive let's head back to the hangar and it is a premium tank, so some of the options are still going to be locked to you. They added that in the more higher tier premium tanks, lower tier premium tanks. Everything is practical. Everything is unlocked to you. But the higher tier premium tanks. And yes, you can probably hear the puppies in the background. Uh, let's take a look at the mods. As you can see, everything, because I've had this tank for a while, everything is unlocked. However, what you're going to find out is that uh, when you first purchase this tank, I think the engine and one of the ammunition slots is uh, still locked. They were only until a domination match on Frozen Pass. This should be fun. Um, of course, I'm, I'm olive drab green on a great big white background, so it's not like I don't stand out like a sore thumb now, do I? So, let's give this a shot, shall we? So we got Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. I am not going anywhere near Alpha, simply because of the ice, and I'm a big, old, fat, slow, heavy tank. But most importantly, this should show you how fast this tank can actually be um, on many a different surfaces. Now, I normally only take about 20 ammo of each, because, again, this is Arcadia ammo rack. Might be a little meh. In fact, I'm only going to take 10 that ammo, no HE. So, we're going to head into battle, random spawn. Roger, Dodger, we're on the south side. So, excuse me, so I am actually going to probably head up into Charlie. Simply because, well, frankly, I can. And there's the new uh, Nish Nashorn, or Nishorn, or... I like to call them uh, uh, tender boxes because you hit them with HE, -H you wreck them. So, hint, hint, Hellcats, load the HE again. You've actually got some viable targets to kill. So, again, as you can see, no one is actually heading into Charlie except for me. So, yay, suicide run! Oh, what fun! And so, yeah, even on snow, this tank's actually pretty fast. We're, 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 we're booking it. Uh, yeah, so, wow, we really are shifting gears. Okay, we've already got friendlies moving into Bravo. And I don't think they're getting shot at yet. Oh, the enemy just lost an M4A3. Uh, A3. And they just lost a Panzer 470 tank destroyer. So, this should be fun. And the enemy are capturing A. Hey, we do have an enemy contact at Charlie 7. And there is an enemy contact in there. KV2. Yay, this should be over pretty quick two KV-2s, so I'm actually going to play it smart here, and let the KV-2, oh, I'm stuck on a rock, ain't I? See, she does move forward and back pretty quick, she just doesn't have a good chassis traverse. Again, we need to get hold down. Told ya, tiger, tiger. Yeah, and he just punched right through my... F Where did he knock out? Oh, you little shit, you knocked out my fucking driver. Yeah, GG. Yep, GG. GG. Getting the flock out of here. Well, there's a friendly Tiger E back there who's just doing nothing. So, yeah, we got Major League up tiered. And there, the fact that there's a Tiger freaking E on our team. Thank you, fucking matchmaker, you twat. So, we're booking it out of here. My breach is messed up. My, I've lost three crew members. Ouch. That's not cool, y'all. So, I'm going to get behind here. Trying to get under here for artillery protection. And we can actually repair here real quick. 30 seconds. I still think you should be able to uh, replenish your crew if you get to a cap zone. But hey, you know, it is what I, it is. What it is. Um, because once tanks did get to a rally point, if they were missing crew, they would commandeer anyone who had any kind of heavy machinery expert expertise. The Germans did it, the Americans did it, the British did it. Um, pretty much anyone, everyone did it. There we go. Repairs are made. Now I've got to be careful, because there is couple of KV-2s out there. This Tiger E knows what he's doing. At least I hope he does, because he can't shoot for crap. Tiger H1 right there. 
I can't pen him for love nor money. But there is a friendly T-3485 that I'm hoping might be a bit of a distraction. In fact, I'm actually going to flank around. I'm not even going to give that KV-2 there a chance to even get a shot at me. Now, yes, this is Arcade. And they probably have spotted me, but you know what? This works a lot of the time in Realistic, so who's to say it's not going to work in Arcade? Now we don't want to get into the cap just yet, because that would give away our position. Beautiful! There goes your ammo rack, thank you mate. Goodbye, Tiger. Soviet hand of Stalin. Don't be looking at me, please don't be looking at me. Got you too. I am now two for bloody two. Now let's get going, let's get into this bloody cap, and let's get some cap points going, shall we? Now we're going to bring it in, my friend, says Brofresco would say. Yes, I am a follower of Brofresco on YouTube. Not a big fan of League of Legends. Right now with the current matter of what they've done to my to my absolutely sexy angel of one hell of a... Ta ooh, 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 Shiza. KV-1B, dude, 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 get out, get, I'm trying to back up, dude, get the hell out of me. There we go. Angle yourself, angle yourself, ain't you, you're over-angled, you're over-angled. There you go. Nice, we captured a zone. Panzer 4G, he's got a nice punchy gun. Don't want to get hit by him. He's got no bloody armor, but he's got a big punch. Ooh, is that a KV-1B? I think it is. Oh, he's dead. He got burnt. Oh, wrecked. Rip. Again, we don't... Ah, oh, stupid basket out of the way. Now, again... I told you guys I was going to head for Charlie, and I'm holding Charlie down. I'm doing my best to try and hold Charlie. Uh, of course, you know... Not when there's tanks of that caliber heading that way. Again, I'm trying to keep my, full, my heaviest armor facing the enemy. Of course, the Panther, the, the the Panther 4G has lit me up. That's for sure. We do have a Cromwell. Oh, we just got a minor hit. We did hurt his gunner and his breach. Oh, nice, nice, nice. He's dead. Where's that other tank? Is he out here? Yes, he's still here. He's still here. In fact, he's actually. Ooh. Yeah, the A2 Sherman can't hurt me. How you doing, bruh? Yeah, you ain't shooting at me now, are you, mate? Yeah, I thought not. Oh, of course he gets me. Oh well, knocked out my crew. Didn't do too bad, I guess. Oh uh, well, we do have a medallion, so we'll use it. So, we're going to be coming back. Yeah, Russian buyers, everyone's streaming it right now. Okay, looks like they are going to try and make another play for Charlie. So, it looks like I'm heading back to Charlie. May even get me an eye for an eye here. So, come on driver, shift the training into gear, as they say. Let's get going. We do have a bomber, and I'm not going to call it in because, again, we're not reviewing the bomber. We're actually reviewing the tank. Wow, look at that triple, that, that double A go off. Oof. Glad I didn't call in the bomber now. Looks like they do have uh, at least one enemy tank in there. It's probably that Sherman. And that's fine. That's fine. At least we know we can actually uh, deal with that Sherman. Honestly, if I hadn't lost uh, my crew from the Tiger... Earlier, I think I could have taken that Sherman. You know, it is what it is. But again, I'm going to try that, that simple, you know, uh, curve. And so, again, this is a cavalry tank. It's the best way to describe this tank. It's highly mobile, except for its uh, chassis traverse. The, the chassis traverse on this thing is just appalling. Yeah, it is that Sherman. So, he's the only one there. But they've snuck in and taken it. Oh, hello, T-34. 
you sneaky sod. Ha ha, bounced you. There you go. Killed that T-34. First shot crippled him, second shot finished him off. Let's uh, come flanking around. Maybe we can uh, find uh, that Sherman, shall we? Maybe we'll get lucky again. Get some more... Uh, oh, oh, there he is. No, no. Oh, nice one. Panzer 3M got him. Right then, so we're going to slip in the Charlie and we're going to ninja it from under him. Maybe even get a cat bonus. Who knows? Who knows? Come on now, baby. Come on. We were the first into Bastoin. Come on. Here we go. Slipped right in. There goes the dress. Off it comes. There's the Victoria's Secret. Hello, hello. There goes the niggers. Off comes the bra. Oh look, she already knows she's assumed the position. Head down, ass up. Turn down for what? There we go. Got a base capture streak of two. Not bad, not bad. Again, for the battle rating, I think the gun's a little bit under par uh, going heads up. Which is why you never want to go heads up with this tank. You always want to try and flank and spank. Okay, guys? Remember that, guys. This tank, think S&M. Think, you know, flank, spank. Okay? You don't want to go heads up. Heads up, you will get murdered. You want to do a little flank and spank. Alright? Now, she does have some, some I I impressive armor. But, uh, oh, and another thing, guys. Have map awareness. You know? Keep, keep an eye on the map. You know? Again, I'm being a bit sneaky here. I'm going to be rolling through their cap. I really shouldn't. I despise base campers, but you know what? Maps, you know, the match is almost over. Yeah, it's dead. Well, it is now. Machine guns. Oh, oh crap. What's that? Is that an IS, IS-1? That's an IS-1. Again, trying to show him my strongest armor. We'll try and pinch him. Again, you want to try and flank. Oh, shit. He's a big boy. Yeah. He, he just punched right through my turret. Yeah, he's going to reload before I will. Again. He doesn't know what the hell to do, so he's punching me in my turret. Wow, even my strongest ammo, and I can't get through that tank's armor. I can't get through that tank destroyer's armor. Oh well, we won that one anyway. Three kills. Exactly, and I bounced his last shot, so <laughs> no killing blow for you, my friend. And pretty much, is it worth the money? Um, yeah, it's a fun little premium tank, it really is. Um, and it, it really is a fun tank. Um, uh, as you can see, it's zippy, it's fast. Um, of course, that's an arcade, and well, guys. Cobra's honest opinion of the Cobra King. I love it. Um, I have to. It's got Cobra in its name. But um, most importantly, I do like this tank. And it, as you can see, it is in my, my lineup. And I do drive it. I do play it. Um, as you can tell by the um, modification. If you take a look, I've actually played quite a few games in order to get the uh, 110,000 EXP required to get the mark of distinction. Trust me, I have played with this tank. Um, I've definitely fondled her transmission, if you know what I mean. Wait, wait. And um, it's a fun little tank. Um, I think it's worth the money. I really do. But most importantly, another thing that I think it's worth is... Um, it's an, I, I would like to use it as more of an introductory tank into the 76mm uh, um, Shermans. Uh, mostly because the 76mm Shermans are as mobile as the Cobra King. They don't have the armor of the Cobra King. Um, which is a bit of a letdown. Um, 
So, uh, it, it, it right now it's a toss up. It really is a toss up between between them all. And um, frankly, guys, what do I really think of the Cobra King? I think it's two fangs up. I really do. I love it. I love it a lot. Um, it's in my lineup. Um, it will stay in my lineup. Um, I'm glad that Wargaming don't have a tank like this in their lineup because honestly, the 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 mishandling that they did of the um, of the Fury Sherman was just oh, God. Uh, uh, I'd rather put I'd rather put my penis in a jar full of scorpions. So that should tell you something. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you didn't like the video, fuck off. I don't need your negativity in my life. But most importantly, if you did like the video, leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, share the video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and even your mortal enemies. Just to let them know how much you fucking hate them. As always, my name is Cobra Commander, and I will see you guys on the battlefield. Take care. So keep your shows flying. Keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, my friends. And I'll see you sexy bastards in the next one.